Welcome to Preppers Paradigm, your channel for practical prepping advice. Today, we're delving into a fundamental prepping concept, bugging in, also known as sheltering at home, instead of bugging out as the default option during a disaster. In the prepping world, having a well thought out plan is crucial. And when it comes to facing disasters, the decision to bug in or bug out is at the forefront of that strategy. Today, we'll explore why, in most disaster scenarios, bugging in is the default option. We're not dismissing the importance of being ready to evacuate when necessary, and sometimes it is the only option. But let's unravel the layers of logic behind why bugging in often makes more sense. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss our informative content. We're not here for speculation or sensationalism, just the facts and no-nonsense, practical prepping advice. Now, let's get down to why bugging in should be your default option in most disaster scenarios. Let's start by understanding what bugging in truly means in the realm of disaster preparedness. Bugging in is the strategy of sheltering and safety at home during a crisis, rather than venturing out into the unknown. It might seem like a straightforward concept, but the reasoning behind it is grounded in practicality. There are many advantages to bugging in, including the familiarity of your surroundings. Your home is your fortress, and knowing every nook and cranny can be a significant asset during an emergency. You're aware of potential dangers, safe zones, and escape routes, giving you a tactical advantage. Bugging in also allows you easy access to all the resources you have at your disposal from your careful planning and prepping. Your home is likely stocked with essentials, making it a mini warehouse of survival supplies. When you bug in, your pantry, water storage, and all of the other essential supplies you have collected are all within arm's reach. No need to carry a heavy backpack or worry about limited space. This is a key factor when it comes to sustainability during prolonged crises. Another critical aspect of bugging in is the established infrastructure. Your home is already equipped with utilities like water, electricity, and heating. Of course, it's possible that during the crisis, these may not be working, but your home base will always be better equipped than a bug out location. In essence, bugging in provides security and stability that bugging out might lack. It's not about avoiding challenges, it's about facing them with a strategic advantage. When it comes to prepping, understanding the nature of potential disasters is crucial in determining the most effective strategy. Let's dive into why bugging in is often the more practical choice, starting with common natural disasters. Natural disasters such as hurricanes, earthquakes, and floods pose significant challenges. Bugging out during these events can expose you to a multitude of risks, including unpredictable weather conditions, impassable roads, and scarce resources. Unless your home is likely to be flooded or damaged, or your safety at home will be put at risk by the disaster. Staying at home during these events allows you to fortify your shelter against the elements. Your home becomes a stronghold, shielding you from the external chaos. Evacuating may seem like the safer option, but the reality is that navigating through a disaster zone can be far riskier than hunkering down, particularly if it is too late to evacuate before the disaster hits. Now, let's shift our focus to man-made disasters, such as civil unrest and power grid failures. In these scenarios, the landscape becomes unpredictable, and social order can break down rapidly. Choosing to bug out during civil unrest poses significant security risks. The chaos and uncertainty on the streets can make it challenging to navigate safely. On the other hand, bugging in allows you to secure your home, making it a fortress against external threats. In both natural and man-made disasters, the decision to stay put provides stability and a familiar environment. Your home becomes your stronghold, offering protection against external dangers. In the world of prepping, having access to essential resources is paramount. Bugging in ensures that you can tap into the resources and infrastructure within your home, providing a level of self-sufficiency that bugging out might struggle to match. Consider water supply, a fundamental necessity for survival. While bugging out, finding clean water sources can be a constant challenge. In contrast, bugging in allows you to use bottled water that you have stored at home and to use rainwater collection or other local sources nearby to purify water right at home, ensuring a reliable and sustainable source. Your home's water supply may even still be working. Now, let's talk about food resources. Your pantry stocked with non-perishable goods and your ability to establish sustainable food sources at home give you a significant advantage. Bugging out means carrying limited supplies, making it impractical for long-term survival. Shelter and security are crucial aspects of survival. Your home, when fortified, provides a secure base. While on the move, the security risks multiply, and finding suitable shelter becomes an ongoing challenge. Moreover, the established infrastructure of your home, including utilities like electricity, heating, and communication, if these are still working, is a massive advantage during a crisis. Maintaining these amenities while bugging out is far more challenging. Bugging in is about creating a sustainable and secure base, utilizing the resources already at your disposal. 
In times of crisis, the strength of community support can make all the difference. Bugging In provides a unique opportunity to tap into local networks, fostering a sense of collaboration and mutual assistance that can be challenging to establish while on the move. Forming alliances and building trust is essential for survival. When you bug in, you have the chance to connect with neighbors, sharing resources, skills, and information. This collaborative effort enhances the overall resilience of the community. Now, consider the challenges of forming and maintaining alliances while bugging out. Constantly on the move, you may encounter suspicion and competition for limited resources, making it harder to build the necessary bonds for long-term survival. Bugging in not only allows you to rely on the strength of numbers, but also enables the sharing of responsibilities. In a well-connected community, each member can contribute their unique skills, creating a more sustainable and secure environment for everyone. In essence, community and support are integral components of successful prepping. Bugging in provides a stable platform to establish and nurture these connections. Ensuring long-term sustainability is a key aspect of effective disaster preparedness. Bugging in not only offers immediate advantages, but also provides a foundation for a sustainable lifestyle over an extended period. Let's break down the reasons why bugging in is synonymous with long-term resilience. Consider the issue of limited resources while bugging out. Carrying enough supplies to sustain yourself and your group for an extended period can be impractical. In contrast, bugging in allows you to establish a home with ample resources, ensuring a more prolonged period of self-sufficiency. The psychological and physical toll of constant movement during a bug-out scenario cannot be overstated. Bugging out requires continuous vigilance, with the risk of exhaustion and fatigue. Bugging in provides a more stable environment, reducing the mental and physical strain on you and your group. Moreover, bugging in allows you to implement sustainable practices. From energy conservation to waste management, your home becomes a hub for responsible living. These practices contribute to the long-term viability of your prepping strategy. In essence, Bugging in aligns with the principles of resilience and self-sufficiency over the long haul. While bugging out might be necessary in specific situations, having a well-established bugging plan is essential for maintaining a sustainable and secure lifestyle during extended crises. From the advantages of familiarity and resource accessibility to the critical aspects of community support and long-term sustainability, bugging in emerges as a strategic and practical choice for preppers. Bugging out absolutely has its time and place, and we will cover this in other videos on the channel, but the stability, security, and sustainability offered by Bugging In make it a compelling default option in many scenarios. Remember, successful prepping is about being prepared for the unexpected, and having a well-thought-out bugging plan is a cornerstone of that readiness. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share this video with your fellow preppers. Subscribe to Preppers Paradigm for more no-nonsense, factual prepping advice. Stay vigilant, stay informed, and stay prepared. Thank you for joining us today. Stay safe, stay ready, and until next time, this is Prepper's Paradigm.